so we need to know that the compound interest paid would be what percentage greater than the simple interest paid the rate of interest is 10 percent so simple interest would be p into 10 into 3 upon 100 this would be 0.3 p compound interest would be 1 plus 10 upon 100 raised to power 3 because the duration is given as 3 years already this would be 1.1 cube which is 1.331 p this is the total amount so minus p okay so this is the total amount p into this this amount so subtract p from it the interest part would be 0 0.331 so through, through simple interest it is 0.3p, through compound interest it is 0.331p, the difference is 0.031p as a function of 0.3p. So p's will get cancelled and you will be able to get some nice value of uh, the, uh, the quantity by which the compound interest is more than simple simple interest so the value of p is not important p will anyway get cancelled so statement 2 gives you the value of p this is not important statement 1 gives you uh, a number a percentage value by which if you multiply this by 100 you will get the percentage value okay so statement 1 is sufficient statement 2 is not a is the right answer